I'm a little bigger. I, big, I gained about 10 pounds over the weekend. I wish I was kidding. Great weather, great food, and very good basketball. Um, I'll be honest, I, I'm extremely excited about the way we played. I, I thought we played uh, extremely well, especially defensively. Um, you know, Georgia Tech is a, an extremely athletic team. Um, they shoot the three, uh, they press, uh, they do a lot of things well. And I thought we were very locked in um, defensively in terms of the game plan and what we wanted to do. Um, and we rebounded the basketball. That's one of the things that we talked about coming in. They're a bigger team, more athletic team. But one of the things that we had to make sure that we do is not only defend personnel the way that we had talked about, but we also had to limit them to one and done. And, and I believe the, the rebounding uh, margin was, was 12. They were up 12 at half. We talked about we had to shrink that. And I think they ended up winning it by two. Um, we got up 13 and, uh, you know, good teams come back. They pressed and um, we did some things down the stretch that allowed us to win that basketball game on both ends of the floor. So I was extremely pleased with how we responded uh, to some things when they made their run. So that was a, a, a great team win. And then obviously Seton Hall, the 25th ranked team in the country, um, they're, they're very similar in the fact that both teams are extremely athletic. Uh, you know, we led that game for um, about two and a half quarters. Um, they came in averaging 77 points. We held them to 57, and in most cases, when you hold a team to 20 below their average, you're probably going to win. Uh, we did a great job defensively. Again, great job rebounding the basketball. Um, we, we just couldn't score. Uh, and it, it came down to a couple of different things. Um, our, our shot selection in terms of when we were shooting the basketball were good shots, but we, we could have got great shots because the shots that we were taking um, early in the shot clock, uh, we could have definitely got later in the shot clock and, and really made them uh, defend a little bit more than we did. Um, but that is a lesson learned. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm extremely pleased uh, for the most part with how we played. Um, we will continue to get better offensively. Uh, we will hit some of those shots that we're missing. Um, and when you talk about losing an eight-point game to the 25th ranked team in the country and you miss seven free throws, those are things that you can control. So we got to do a better job of, of doing that, and we will. But if we continue to defend and rebound uh, the offensive execution in terms of, of those shots falling, uh, those shots will fall for us. I truly believe that. Uh, overall, we are a good shooting team, even though numbers probably don't say that right now. Uh, but I'm extremely confident in this team's ability to shoot the basketball. With that being said, uh, we have Iowa State coming in. Um, kind of funny, Iowa State was in Cancun um, as well. We probably could have played the game there, but we didn't want to give up our home game. Um, Iowa State is a very good team. You know, they, they lost two games there. They're going to come in extremely um, angry. Uh, but they are a very good three-point shooting team. Uh, they start a 6-5 kid in the post. Uh, not only can she score with her back to the basket, but uh, she can step out and shoot to three. Uh, so we're going to, again, have to be locked into what we want to do defensively. we got to manage their runs uh, and go on our own. Uh, and then uh, we're, we're going to get good shots. We're, we have to be able to knock down some shots. The start uh, to this game is extremely important for us uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, but we, had a, we got back about 9 o'clock last night. Um, had film at 7 this morning and, and had a very good practice. So uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity on Wednesday. Are there any questions? Just from looking through the last few games, what are the things that maybe even the off season that Ellie has done to become such a nice contributor off the bench early on this year for this team? Well, you know, we talked to Ellie a lot about um, shooting, shooting the three-point uh, shot consistently. I think she has done that. Um, she's very good at being able to put the basketball on the floor. Uh, her mid-range game has gotten better. Uh, we need her to continue to be consistent from the three because of her ability to put the basketball on the floor. But not only does she create havoc on the offensive end, Ellie's a very good defender. Uh, we're challenging her right now to rebound a little bit more for us, uh, and she will continue to do that. Uh, but we are pleased with, with how Ellie's playing. I would like for her to be a little bit more aggressive. 
Um, but that will continue to come as, as she continues to play for us. Were there some other fun things you got to do in Cancun other than play some good basketball games? We did a lot of fun things. Um, a lot of kids snorkeled. Uh, we got massages. We saw a lot of uh, geckos, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I left my suitcase in my garage. Uh, it's still in my garage because I want to make sure there's no critters in it. But we, 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 we had a good time. We really did. It was a great experience um, for a variety of reasons. Um, but that is something that we will look to do again. And to be able to, to split on that road trip is huge for us. And we was close to getting to. But hopefully we will learn from that and that will make us better down the road. But it was a, a great weekend for us. Have a good day.